Section 4 Configuring Virtual Machines Lesson 1 Virtual Machine Configuration Versions and Generation Versions Hyper-V as a Windows Server role has undergone many changes since it was first introduced with Windows Server 2008. Some of these changes rely on features that were added to later versions of the Windows Server operating system. Accordingly, there are some features of virtual machines that are only compatible with these later operating system versions. In this lesson, you'll learn about the compatibility settings in virtual machine configuration versions. You'll also learn about the two generations of virtual machines, the second of which that became available starting with Windows Server 2012 R2, and you'll learn about the differences between them. Virtual machine configuration versions indicate the compatibility settings for a virtual machine's configuration, the checkpoint files, and its saved states. As you can see from this list, configuration versions began at 5.0 with Windows Server 2012 R2 and Windows 8. At that time, when a Hyper-V server's operating system was upgraded, the configuration version for the virtual machines on that host would be upgraded automatically when they were moved to the upgraded Hyper-V host. Starting in Windows Server 2016, the upgrade is not performed automatically. This allows for rolling upgrades of Hyper-V nodes in a cluster during the process of upgrading nodes to a newer operating system it is possible to have nodes with different operating system versions, at least until the upgrade process of the cluster is complete. Once all of the nodes have been upgraded, the virtual machine configuration versions of the virtual machines can be upgraded as well. Upgrading the configuration version is necessary to take advantage of the numerous new virtual machine features. Shown here is a list of features and the minimum configuration version needed to support those features. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to check and upgrade the virtual machine configuration versions. To check the virtual machine configuration version, I'll first run the git vm host supported version PowerShell commandlet in a PowerShell session. I'll run this on the Hyper-V host to check supported configuration version. This is the highest virtual machine configuration version supported. So I'll execute the commandlet, and I can see that the supported version is 8.3, with 9 being the highest. Next, I'll check the configuration versions of the virtual machines on the server using the git vm commandlet. We can see that the two virtual machines on my host are at the same version level as is supported by the Hyper-V host. If they were less than that version, I could run the following command to upgrade them, running this command on each of the virtual machines in turn. And as you can see, it's asking me to confirm this operation. I can click Yes, and that will complete the process. If your Hyper-V servers are running in a cluster, you can upgrade all of the virtual machines using the set of PowerShell commandlets shown here. Be advised that the upgrade process does require shutting down the virtual machine. So it's best to do this during off-peak hours or during your maintenance window. Virtual machine generation versions were introduced with Windows Server 2012 R2. Prior to that, there was only one version. The introduction of a new virtual machine generation version was needed in order to support the features shown here. Probably the most important feature is UEFI firmware support. 
which replaces BIOS. Using UEFI, virtual machines can experience faster startup and also support for secure boot. It should be noted that virtual machine generation 2 versions only support Windows Server 2012 and later server operating systems and Windows 8 and later client operating systems. The generation version is an option configured when creating the virtual machine and cannot be changed. Additionally, only Windows Server 2012 R2 and later server operating systems support running both Generation 1 and 2 versions.